my name is Ming Wu, and I'm a student for uh, Computer Information System 495. And uh, this is an introduction to my project report. And uh, the, my project is about a multi-user and a multi-agent online chat room. And uh, my project supervisor is Mega Chat. Okay. Uh, introduction. This project is to develop an online chat room for both a human user and a software agent. The web-based chat room can interact with backend API, provide a chat service for human user and a uh, software agent. The backbone of the system is a chat room backend API, uh, which is a PHP program that's uh, running under a uh, each, uh, on a web server and uh, other software agent program and the web chat program uh, can make HTTP request to the API gateway URL and the chat room API is communicated with the database and all the incoming messages, all the events, all the chat rooms information are stored in the database and all the software agents and the web chat program they are not going to interact with the database directly all they are communicating with is the API gateway URL and the other component of the project is a chat at me. Uh, in the chat at me program, it's also a web-based program that's not utilizing anything with the backend API. Rather than, rather the chat at me program is communicating with the database directly. So uh, you can see the relationship between each component in the system uh, clearly in this paragraph. Uh, in this slide. So uh, we had a limited time and to work on this project. So there are many, many areas in this project that can be further enhanced uh, for either for practical usage or research. Uh, one part, one point is uh, the scalability of the chat room backend API sh can be improved to work in cloud environment. Uh, this is useful because if we wanted to increase the number of uh, concurrent chat users uh, and uh, chat rooms in the system, eventually we're going to run out of uh, resources on single server. So to make it scalable and to work in the cloud environment, that will make the uh, chat room API to take more users. And another Another uh, further enhancement is possible is to build a mobile phone, a smartphone app that utilizes the chat room backend API. Uh, it's maybe another software agent that works on the smartphone. Another uh, possibility is to add uh, voice message support in the chat room. So, uh, so the so this feature, this possible feature is to allow uh, people allow user to record a voice message and send it to the chat room. Uh, this would be something similar to uh, some popular uh, instant messaging software on the mobile phone. Uh, one thing I want to note is SCIS and all the faculty members are uh, welcome to use and further enhance this project uh, in any way they seem uh, useful. Okay, majority of the testing of the chat room can be done in the web-based chat room. This is a Java web program using GSF and uh, mm, other Java-related lab login. So this is the main page of the chat room. And on the top here is a chat room listing and management. And at the bottom is a simplified interface for public chat room. And uh, let's try out something that match say hello and with a smiley face, click save. And then now we can see the message is received on the server. So this message will be received by everybody. Uh, and on the top, we can try create a new room called uh, testing. So this is room without a password. So we can see testing API is created and it's automatically refreshed in here. Let's try enter the chat room. 
and here we can see a more full featured uh, chat room. We can leave the chat room. We can send a message. We can change our status to one of the supplied options. Let's change it to uh, busy. And click on update. And this status should be changed to busy. Yes, it's changed. Now let's try something. Say everyone. Messages received on the server. Let's try leave task API. Now we can close this window or re enter the room. We can close the window. Now we can try see manage. So in manage, we can kick if someone else in the room. We can give a token. We can revoke token and a close room. Close room will make the room unavailable to use anymore. So let's click close. And the room is not available. So we close the room. Go back to here, and uh, you can click refresh. Refresh. The closed room is gone now, and uh, we, we can now log out. Another feature we can try is when you are when the user is in the room, and uh, if they click log out, they'll get a message warning. So stay or leave. Let's say stay, and then click leave. There's no more warning, and then we can close the room. And uh, the chat room manager is very handy if the user needed to uh, for that uh, me to check what's going on. Basically, view all the chat log and uh, view the action logs. The other important section for the project is a software agent implementation. This provides a reference implementation for the chat room API. Also, uh, give uh, other developer a uh, example uh, to see how this uh, API works and uh, also to verify it uh, my implementation uh, the room API implement the full required features uh, from the project specification and uh, this is the API documentation for the software agent program you can see there are several names places the ticket agent the class agent is a general interface of what agent can do. Those are methods in the method method in the class and some properties. And the most important, uh, it's a good uh, documentation, so should it be enough for developer to view the other implementation for a software agent. And it will provide a two customized behavior and a command is basically a proxy to send the command to the gateway server. Most important is the processor uh, part. The processor uh, in this software agent program has several implementation based from the default processor. This is any new process should uh, extend from the default processor. So let's see join other own processor. This is uh, basically uh, react to user message and join other people's room. And uh, there's another is a hooks. Hooks is a special kind of processor. Basically, it produces more message, more message in the chat room to trigger behavior for other uh, software agent. Basically, it's like uh, to take a message and then generate another message for other software agent. It's, it's used to produce more complex uh, interaction. Uh, in this video we're gonna try uh, and show you how to start the software agent, software agent program and uh, it's basically very simple. It's a command line PHP program so you type in PHP agent 1. This is an agent type 1 implementation so the agent 3 is the username and 1, 2, 3, 4 is the password and you press enter and uh, some message you're gonna Print it into the log file. This is a main log file. Basically, shows the agent is connected, and uh, the initial request is to get a list of rooms that the agent can participate in. After the software agent start, uh, there is a couple log files that the software agent program will log to. One of this is the agent three main log and uh, agent log. So let's take a look what's in the main log. 
In the main log, basically, it's, sh it's showing the agent is trying to connect and the agent 3 connected. And uh, this participating room is a basically a message returned from the server showing which chat room is available. Let's take a look at another one. The agent <coughs> log. In this log file, it's record record the detail communication from the server to the software agent like if there's any new message and uh, that's a request to get a message for room ID 1 which is a public room and that's the request HTML this is very useful for debugging purpose and uh, the return uh, request re response basically the response says there is no new message in this program we're going to show you how the software agent works uh, interact with users in the web-based chat room. Now let's start the first uh, couple software agent. This is agent 1 and then this is agent 2. Okay, now software agent started and uh, let's go to the browser and we can see agent 3, agent 5 entered the chat room. Okay, so we want to do something uh, to demonstrate how the software agent can interact with uh, chat room user both between regular user and the software agent. Okay, let's take a look at the source code for the agent 2 uh, action processor. And uh, the first one we want to try is a open public room. So let's send this message to the public chat room, open public breakout room. And we hope a software agent to pick up this message and react on it. Now we can see uh, Agent 5 created a new chat room and Agent 3 has joined the new chat room. Okay, let's go join the new chat room as well. Okay, we can see it's uh, 662. Let's enter. Now we are in the chat room and we can see 3 and 5 already here. And the system message Alex enter room. Let's see next uh, hook we're going to try is a weather hook. Let's ask about the weather. Let's ask about weather. And we hope to the software agent to react on that. Then the agent 5 asks, what's the weather in Edmonton? And agent 3 responded with weather, current weather in Edmonton. This is data is from the uh, open weather API. And let's try uh, send something to agent 3 as a whisper, like uh, What's the weather in Athabasca? Uh, and uh, you can see the message is now in the room. And uh, Agent 3 is working on to get the. Okay, the weather in Athabasca is sky is clear, current temperature, and humidity level. And if we send a general message, say, What's the weather? Uh, let's say, what's the weather in Tokyo? This is a public message. We expect agents to respond in the public message as well. The weather in Tokyo is clear, 21. Okay. Next, we want to say some. Let's send that to agent three. See what happens. Three chatting breakout room. That's a whisper message, and it is three whispering. Come to my breakout room. ID ninety private seven eighty six password nine zero nine. Let's refresh our chat room. Password is nine zero nine. Let's enter. Now we're in agent three's private room, and it say, give me token. Okay, let me get the token and you have owner token now. Okay, that's great. So we now have the token. Let's say uh, token processor take token back and then uh, let's ask take token back and the agency should revoke the token. Okay, your owner token has been revoked. Okay, that's pretty much the introduction for my project, and uh, uh, thank you very much.